Hello and welcome to this new tutorial. In this tutorial, we are going to create some volumetric lights with minimal steps to add more depth to the scene and more drama. Let's get started. Here in Blender, I have a simple animation of an alien ship struggling to suck a cow. Now to add more drama to the scene, I will add some spotlights and volumes. Starting by this frame, since the ship is horizontal, moving to render view, there's no lights. The render engine is EV for now, since it's lighter. And right now I'm going to select the ship and move 3D cursor to it. Now I'm going to start by adding a spotlight. In the light properties, I will bump the power to 2000. If you notice, nothing is happening because the light is already within the ship. If you move it out, you will see what's happening. But I want it to be within the ship so that it's emitting from this exact spot. So what I can do is go to light object properties and here in the shading, there's a shadow linking. I will add new. Then I have a collection for the spaceship with all its elements inside. So I'm going to grab this into the shadow linking group. Then I will untick this box. Now it's within the ship, but not affecting the ship at all. Continuing with the light properties, I will increase the radius to like 0.5 so that the shadows on the ground get blurry. Then I will increase the size to around 65 to get more lights on the ground. Then I'm going to increase the blend all the way up to 1. Now for the color, I want it to be a yellowish tone. And now I'm going to add another spotlight. So I'm going to duplicate this one and then we'll reduce the strength. Leave the radius as it is. I will increase the size. Now I'm going to select both lights, then the ship controller and made them a child of that controller so that when the ship is moved, the light is moving with it. So it's more convincing that they are linked to the same source. I will go to the shader editor and I'll switch object to world. Now I'm going to add a volume scatter node link it to volume, then I will reduce the density to like 0.1. And just like that, we have now a fog in the light. Now to add more depth and drama to the scene, I will go to object, leave it right there. Then since the origin is here, I'm going to start by adding a cube moving here so that I can see better. I will move it right there and bump the scale to almost cover the spotlights just right here. Then in the edit mode, I'm going to select all the top edges and scale them to also be just like the shape of the spotlights, just like that. It's like a pyramid. Then I'm going to move to the shader editor and right now I'm going to add a new. I will delete the principal PSDF and switch it with principled volume. I will link it to volume, then I will add a noise texture, link it to a color ramp, then I'm going to connect the color ramp to the density. Now I will edit the noise texture 4D, then increase the detail all the way up, reduce the scale like to 4, increase the roughness, the colors in the color ramp to make it more contrasty. Now select this and hit Ctrl T to add the texture coordinate and the mapping so that I can now make animation to the volume. I don't want to make keyframes for this one since I want it to be a perfect loop. I'm going to use drivers. So I'm going to the Z location and here I want to write this code where this minus is going to make the smoke go up. This number is the number of frames I have, and this number is for the speed. If I hit play, a smoke will start rising up. 
And now for a final move, I'm going to light the cow itself since it's so dark here. So I'm going to lock this one and move the 3D cursor here. Then I'm going to add a light source, which is a spotlight. I'm going to rotate it right around here. Then I'm going to move it. I will go to the light source. Let's make it 200 so that the cow is visible. And I want the radius more soft. I want it to be 1. The size, I want to change it to like around the cow itself. Then I can go up here and rotate it. And just like that, the cow is lit. Now it depends on your device and your preferences. You can always change the render engine from EV to get this view. And by the way, there is a compositor. Features I did, like a glare and lens distortion and B noise for rendering. Now, if I change EV to cycles, it will get slower, yet a more beautiful and natural result for this exact situation. So, if I move to this view, you will notice there is a black like smoke is going up, and that is what we need. Thank you so much for watching. See you guys in the next one.